एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम दिया एंड आई क्रिएट लाइफस्टाइल एंड हेल्थ रिलेटेड वीडियोस एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ डाइनिंग कंपेनियंस इन्फ्लुएंस व्हाट यू ईट नो मैटर हाउ मच इन कंट्रोल यू आर ऑफ योर ओन ईटिंग व्हेन एवर यू ईट विद कंपेनियंस योर ईटिंग हैबिट्स आर अफेक्टेड think about the last time you ate by yourself you knew exactly how much you wanted to eat what you wanted to eat you sat down finished the entire meal now think about a time when you ate with a group of people was it the same experience probably not the amount of food we eat is not always only influenced by how hungry we are or how the food looks or how the food tastes sometimes it's also dependent on the eating habits of your companions how many of them are there at the table and what gender they are the way you eat in a social setting is known as modeling which means that you tend to this is not always true for everybody but people generally tend to be influenced by how their companions eat now let's look at light versus heavy eating companions okay so when you eat alone your body is the only one that's giving you signals about the food that you're about, about to eat but when you eat in a group your body is also receiving signals from everybody else who is at the table the good news about this is that you are more likely to be influenced by light eaters than by heavy eaters and that's because your body or rather your mind becomes conscious about overeating i'm not saying that you should only eat with people who eat less now that's not possible but this could be a guide or a reminder for you to remember how much you actually eat and even continue to eat the same way when you are with heavy eaters as well now let's get into gender okay same sex versus opposite sex eating habits now um you'll notice that women mostly eat the same way whether they're eating with other women or with men all right there's not much change in the quantity of or the quality of food that they eat whereas you'll notice that men eat more when eating with women now the last point is the number of people you're eating with now it's not a surprise that when there is a large group at the table you tend to eat more and that essentially is because you um it's a great uh, you know company you're enjoying your uh, time together and you kind of mindlessly eat all right um also if you especially if you are a very quick eater and the rest of the people in the group are not you will tend to finish first and then just to be able to give company to the other people you will start eating more now what have i said so far is not to discourage you from eating in large groups or with friends i mean come on that's fun and you are going to do that and it makes you happy so please go and do that the only reason that i am kind of giving you these um inputs is so that when you go out with friends and family in large crowds you can monitor and not eat mindlessly especially if you are somebody who's kind of watching what you're eating or you have just started eating healthy uh, these points will actually make it easier for you to keep on track here are some tips that will help you do this all right number 1 um decide what you want to eat way beforehand but this is even before you reach the restaurant in today's day and age you can get the menu of the restaurant on um google or on any of these yelp zomato sites wherever right so make sure you look at the menu decide what you want all right that will help you not only reduce time but once you've made up your mind it's easier for you to stick to it number 2 set your pace according to the other people all right now if you are a fast eater like i told you you will end up eating more than the other so try as much as you can to slow down if the other people are slow eaters or you know the because the conversation is good people are naturally eating slowly try to uh, replicate their pace 
Number three, find a way to signal to your body that you are done eating. Because you already have so much food around, even if you are full, your your eyes are still looking at food. So your brain still thinks that, oh, there's still food available on the plate, so let's eat. But you need to give it a signal that, acha abhi bas ho gaya. You know, so try having a mint or try ordering dessert, something that signals the end of a meal. This is something that I do and I this is like a personal thing for me and I don't know how that's going to fit into with you guys, but I'll share it. I don't share my main course. I'll share appetizers, I'll share, I'm not a soup eater, so I don't really have soup. And again, I will share dessert. And that is because I know how much I can eat and what overeating actually feels for me. If you have, uh, okay, so this can get tricky a little bit sometimes. Uh, like if you are in a group who's like big on sharing their food, then you have to very politely tell them that, you know, explain to them that you're not sharing because you're watching what you're eating and you don't want to overeat. Explain to them nicely. I'm sure they'll understand, okay? And um, order exactly what you want to eat. And then just eat that. You could share appetizers, you can share soup, dessert, every other meal, just your main course. Make sure that you're eating how much you want to eat. And that's what I do. I don't share my main meal, okay? Another way to flip this around would be if it looks like they are all planning to share each other's meals, then don't order anything for yourself. Just say that I'll just eat from whatever you guys are eating and we'll split the bill, you know? That really helps to cut down on what you're eating and also there won't be any wastage of food. I hope these tips help you in staying on track with your uh, health goals, with your eating goals, even when you're going out and eating outside food, having uh, going out to restaurants and stuff, which I highly recommend doing. Um, if this video helped in some way, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.